What's up everybody? Stay with us today right here on CCV. We're going to be getting into this beautiful 2013 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. And, uh, and check it out a little bit. It's a really nice car with just around 95,000 miles on it. It's got a very attractive price on it. And it's good looking. I'm loving the black with the tan. Such a sweet ride. So stay with us. Let's go ahead and get this video started. So let's take a look at the exterior body of this vehicle. As always, the cars that I film are for sale. And again, we're here at Southern Motor Company, right here in North Charleston on Rivers Avenue, if you ever happen to want to stop by and see us. So this car, of course, is black in color with these silver wheels. It has a really nice black front grille with the matte finish on the Mercedes-Benz logo, which looks really good. I like the headlights, the way they're designed on this particular body style. Gives the vehicle kind of a little bit more menacing, aggressive look to it, which is which is nice. Um, also down on the bottom of the bumper, it just the way they designed it kind of makes it sit a little bit lower to the ground, which gives it that sporty appeal. Wheels look good. You can't ever go wrong with a nice looking set of five stars. These are actually the Mercedes wheels, but um, somebody previously switched out the Mercedes center cap for the Nietzsche wheels center cap. So that's kind of how they are. They have a little bit bigger brakes in the front and they're cross drilled rotors and you got plenty of tread on the tires. So you shouldn't have to replace tires anytime soon. Those are necks and tires. And again, they look to be pretty close to new. Exterior body's in good shape. No major dents, no major dings, no major scratches. It's got tinted windows. And then in the back, it's got the rear deck lid spoiler, which looks nice. Dual exhaust, backup camera. Tail lights are LED, so they're gonna look really good when uh, lighting them up at nighttime. And the headlights look really good as well. And uh, we'll crank it up here in just a moment to kind of give you a look at that stuff but the exterior body's in great shape as you're seeing and uh, just doesn't really have a whole lot of imperfections it's really nice another feature i kind of like on this car is with the key well of course you can hit the button and open up the trunk which i'm going to do for you right now there you go which is kind of neat right it just kind of pops open like that it's got a ton of trunk space in the back of the e-class and the back seats fold down if you need more room but uh, to make life a little easier, instead of just having to grab and pull down, you can just hit the button here, and there you go. So back in the day, a lot of those uh, SUV, a lot of SUVs came with power tailgates, but a lot of us didn't always know, unless we owned a car like this, that you could actually get a trunk with a power, power trunk lift, which is kind of cool. Moving right along, let's take a look at the interior of this car, which is absolutely gorgeous, because you got the black exterior with the, you got it, tan interior and this is a little bit darker color for a tan right um sometimes you got a parchment which is a very light colored tan almost white but to me this is more of like a saddle you get the wood trim but it looks really good with the two-tone the black and dark dark brown or tan um anyways i like it it's different and it kind of really brightens things up and makes it a little more vibrant when you're sitting inside your car then up top you got Double sunroofs, one in the front, one in the back, so everybody can enjoy uh, the beautiful skies. The back window does have the shade as well. Let's go ahead and hop in. So I'm about six foot tall, and as you can see, the way Mercedes has these seats cut out like that, you got a little bit more room right here where your knees don't touch the back seat so much. And the front looks really good. Just the whole area up there looks really nice. Um, you know, some of the options you're gonna get up front, your navigation screen there. Looks like you got heated seats in the front and uh, plenty of storage and all that with your armrest. And then right over here, 
steering wheel looks good. It's got the black piano, black kind of trim on the top. Maybe it's a wood trim. We'll have to get a little closer and look. Yeah, I think that's more of a wood trim, but it looks really nice and it feels nice when driving the car. It really does. So there you go. It's in really nice shape too, everybody. I mean, the, the car first off, the while sitting inside the car, um, it doesn't have any odd smells or anything like that. So I don't think anyone ever smoked in this car. You know, a lot of times when it's a little bit warmer outside, you can really pick up on the smell of a, of a cigarette or a cigar. Um, so I don't smell that at all inside of this vehicle. Um, the seats are in good shape. There's no rips, no tears or anything like that. I mean, just overall condition, really nice. And again, the car only has 95,000 miles on it. So technically, you know, you would probably consider that to be low mileage on a car that's, well, 2013. So a 13 model with 95,000 miles is not bad. I will tell you, since we've had this car up on the internet for sale, we've had quite a few people looking at it and inquiring about it and, uh, and wanting to buy it, you know? So anyways, a lot of times people will call and go, hey, how much down? And I will tell them, well, folks, how much, you know, how much earnest money are you actually looking put towards this vehicle, right? You know, what, you know, something like that. How much money are you looking to put towards a car like this when you go to finance? And uh, a lot of times people say, well, I'm looking to do around two to three thousand dollars. That's a pretty good uh, amount of money to put towards a vehicle like this. So anyways, all I can tell you, if you're looking to finance this car, you know, the best way to know how much everything's going to be and if you can get approved or not is just go right on our website, do the online credit application, fill it out, tell me how much you're looking to put towards the vehicle and, uh, and there we'll go. I'll plug it all in and see what I can do about getting it approved and get you a, a good interest rate and payments and all that so interest rates always depend on what they depend on your credit score and it's not really the score so much it's what really you have going on on your credit so that's how finance companies determine what kind of uh, interest rate you're going to get when buying a vehicle and the term and all that but anyways first of all you got to make sure you like what you're seeing in this video before actually doing the application down here you got plenty of storage you also have an auxiliary there, an old school iPhone port, but you do also have a USB in there as well. Right here is your cup holders. You have an ashtray and a 12 volt. And uh, it seems to be in nice condition, it really does. You even got the original, uh, some of the books and manuals and stuff. So there you have it. So right here to the left, this is your clock. That's your gas. We got just about a half a tank. Um, it says tire pressure monitor system is an operative. Probably one of the little batteries on that tire pressure system has gone out. That's usually what it is when you get a notification like that. Um, this is your RPMs and your temperature. Go ahead and pop the hood and take a look under there. You know, a lot of the information I'm sharing with you is probably stuff you already know. You know, a lot of times people will ask, you know, well, if the tire pressure light is on in the car, will you fix it? Well, we do not do that. Um, it's about 80 bucks to replace those batteries and those little valve stems. And uh, we've just decided many years ago to sell the cars just like they are. And uh, you're more than welcome to take the vehicle and get it fixed on your own. But um, every car on this lot out here, we're going to make sure before it actually leaves and goes home with you that the tires are all topped off properly and tire pressure is, is accurate. Okay, even though if one of those little valve stems that has those batteries in the sensors there goes bad, you're still going to have air in your tires. V6, a very clean engine bay, which is something nice to see. Runs and looks good, truly does. So again, a 2013 E350 with 95,000 miles on it. If you need more details about this car, please visit us online at smccharleston.com for price, car facts, and over 40 plus photos that I take of each one that we get.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Just a simple walk around video on a pre-owned E-Class. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you soon.